guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Charlotte Tilbury palette for the holidays. So if you want to see that, as well as a tutorial, and of course some comparisons to her previous palettes, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I'm really excited for today's video because this is one of those holiday launches that I look forward to most every year. I believe this is what, the fourth or fifth consecutive year that Charlotte Tilbury has launched her Instant Eye Palette. This year's theme is a smoky eyes are forever. I of course had to pick it up. I have all but the very first one that came out to show and compare for you guys today. If you're new here, I do consider myself to be pretty well versed in Charlotte Tilbury. I've tried the majority of her line and I've been collecting her eyeshadows for years, so I'm very familiar with her formula, what's gonna hit, what's not. This video is a first impressions. I have not put it on my eyes yet, so make sure you stay subscribed to my channel where of course I will update you on my thoughts on the palette as I use it more. But again, like I said, I feel pretty confident doing a first impressions on this just considering how familiar I am with her formula. That being said, let's dive in. This is the Smoky Eyes R Forever palette. Now, when I ordered for the 48 hour early access, they did have a special bundle where you got a free blending brush. I don't know if they'll have that again, but I think once it actually launches, it's just gonna be the palette. It is going to cost you $75. It is going to be available September 23rd if you didn't get your hands on it for that 48 hour early access promotion that they do with all of her launches, which is perfect because then you guys can check the reviews and see if it's actually going to be worth it for you or not. Normally, I doesn't I don't think it specifies it at the current moment at the website. They say that these are limited edition, but I will say the one from last year is still available, so I don't think there's this urgent need for you to buy it as soon as it launches. But let's take a closer look at the packaging here. The box is super cute. I love the black and gold. On the box it says that this palette has an 18 month shelf life and is made in Italy. Love to see it. Now the packaging itself is a lot more simple. It's just a plain black. Black is fine and this is me being really nitpicky but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more cutesiness than rather than just black. Like I wish it matched the box more and played with more of that black and gold because Charlotte Tilbury's brand color is gold. That's what all her packaging is but anyways that's me being nitpicky but not my favorite when you compare it to like this one from last year and then the year prior. This one like this is kind of boring y'all, I can't lie. And then on the back here, it's going to give you some information on how to use each of the looks. So the first shade in line, you're gonna prime, the second you're gonna enhance, and third you're going to smoke. She does this with all of her instant look palettes and as well as her quads, maybe not that exact configuration, but she likes to advise you on how to use her palette and what looks she intended you to create with them. Of course, you're not limited, you can do whatever you want, but I really like that there is that option. So how these palettes work, they do have a nice mirror and they're gonna stay up on their own, which is really nice, it's not gonna fall. And then here we have our 12 eyeshadow shades. Now how she organizes them in these instant eye palettes, you have one look here, remember one, two, three is the order that is suggested to apply them, the love eyes, the power eyes is a look, the happy eyes, and the confident eyes. And most of the time you will find that they are kind of monochromatic, they're gonna go with each other, and I just think it makes it so much easier if you are running late in the morning to just pick a trio that you know is gonna look good, you don't have to think about it, and then days where you're feeling fancy or you have a little bit of extra time, of course, do whatever you want with it. I like that. I used to not like that at first, but it really has grown on me and has become very, very useful. Now, this palette in particular is not very heavy in the mattes, as I feel like her palettes normally are. There are five pure true matte shades and seven in either shimmer or metallic shades. Now, one thing that I noticed from this palette, I think one of the formulas has changed a little bit. It's gonna be like this shade and this shade right here, and I believe there's another one, probably, yeah, this one. Um, they're like her lid topper or pop shades, but they look like they'd be really creamy. In her previous palettes, the shades that had this finish and look in the pan were really wet feeling, almost like a cream eyeshadow. These are almost very 
powdery. They're like a slip slippery powder. It's still really beautiful and you get a lot of impact, but I just noticed I haven't felt a formula quite so powdery and dry like this. And that normally comes with a negative connotation of eyeshadows, but it's not in this case. It looks really pretty and textured, almost like more of a lid toppery kind of formula. It's just different than what I've experienced from Charlotte Tilbury. Normally shades that look like those tend to have a wet, heavy, creamy feeling. And there are shades in this palette that do have that, like this shade right here is that wet, creamy, thick sh formula right here. So they are in there. I just noticed that some of those formulas feel a little bit more dry and lid toppery, but I'm not saying they're bad. I haven't put them on my eyes yet, so we will see. As far as my thoughts on the color story here, I'm definitely on board with a lot of you who said that this palette looks similar to all the other palettes she has launched. Yeah, it's not that unique. I mean, at this point, Charlotte Tilbury, she doesn't come out with unique color stories. She is lucky. Her products are really great and her quality is phenomenal. That's what keeps me coming back every year and every launch but yeah I will agree I mean we need a little bit more variety Charlotte and this was a great opportunity for her it doesn't really catch me as a smoky palette either of course you have this black that you can incorporate in all of them to make them smoky but it doesn't look like a smoky palette to me it just it looks like the rest of them <laughs> Anyways, I will talk more about that when we get into the comparison portion of the video. Let's just go into the standalone quality. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. So normally for my tutorials, I like to do one eye off camera so that I can collect my thoughts and come back to you and let you know. But because there's 12 shades and these essentially kind of create different looks, I'm just gonna do two separate looks on my eyes. It's the best way for me to really test out all of the shadows and the formulas. So I'm just using a little bit of my Hourglass Concealer. We are going to do this eye first. So first things first, I'm going to go into this cream matte shade in the Love Eyes Trio. I'm just using an Olimar Cosmetics blending brush. I'm gonna concentrate the color underneath the brow bone because that's where I want the highlights. And then with whatever is left, I'm gonna kind of set the eyelid. Love that there's a cream shade in here. So next I'm going to take from Power Eyes this light khaki gray shade. This looks really beautiful. We're not going to do anything crazy with our looks as I normally don't in my reviews. Just so that I can really test the formulation in a style that I'm very familiar with. I mean this shade is very very pretty. It's a, it's a Charlotte Tilbury shade. She does no wrong. Actually, let me use the mini eye blender brush that came with this for the next portion. We're gonna stick into confident eyes right here, which by the way, the layout of this trio is weird. I would think that this would wanna be the prime color and then this would be the enhanced color. So I don't know about following how this trio looks. That's random, but anyways, just something that I noticed. But we're gonna take this shade right here. And this type of shade from Charlotte is usually quite pigment packed. Let's test the blendability of that. Let me wipe my brush off so I don't go too ham here. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. You can see for yourself, very easy to work with. This brush has the shortest handle ever. Really pretty. That took away from this first shade that I used, so I'm gonna kinda put it out here. Next, also from the Confidence Eyes Trio, we're gonna take this kind of pinky mauve shade right here. This is the one where I said it felt a little bit drier than a formula that I'm used to from Charlotte. And you can see right there, it is more powdery. There was a little bit of pickup. I'm sure I'd get some kickback if I didn't tap off my brush. But it looks beautiful on the eyelid and it's still applying with a brush just fine. Let me try it with a finger. I did get a little bit of fallout right here. Pretty, it's a little bit softer than I wanted. I thought it would be a little bit more metallic. It's still very pretty though. Then next I'm gonna go into Love Eyes right here at this middle shade, which is similar to this one, but this one is that creamy consistency. So it should give us a little bit more. Yeah, you see, that gave me more. I prefer this formula. It's more metallic, it's a little bit less messy. Very pretty, like a pinky brown kind of eye that we have going on. And then also from the Love Ice Trio, we're gonna take this shade. And this one is more of that powdery formula that's similar to that first color that we used on the lid. But very pretty. I'm using a really concentrated brush, which is Refer number 23. So it gave me a little bit more metallicness, which I like. For the purpose of testing this palette out. Let's use this shade right here from Power Eyes. This is going to be one of the creamier shimmer shades. It's not quite metallic, but it has that creamy feeling to it. 
Let's run this on the outer half of the lower lash line. Again, like I said, this is more so for the purpose of testing. That's very pretty. This is very nice quality. I'm going to wipe off my brush and we're gonna go into the black. Let's see how the black behaves. I'm gonna start off with that in the outer third of my lower lash line. Oof, that's very pigmented. I definitely expected that from Charlotte Tilbury though. Her mattes tend to be quite intense. And then I'm using a rougher 14 brush just so that it's not quite as dense. Blend that to create a smoky eye. So if you're grabbing this palette to get a smoky eye, this black is going to do it for you. You only need just a little bit to add that smoke out here. Black is awesome. Really nice quality. Okay, final step. I'm going to go back into this shade. We're just going to put it right in the inner third. And actually, this shade right here we're going to use because I haven't used it yet. This is a creamier shade. It's not the dry shade. So the dry shade is right here, right here, and right here. Like dry. You know what I mean? doesn't mean it's bad it's just a different formula that's really pretty okay this is a neat look i like this look and so far really nice quality let's go to the other eye and let's play a little bit more around with the shades that i have not yet used which for the most part it looks like it's gonna be the happy eyes trio so we're gonna create a something a little bit more warm let's do this look how she envisions us to use it so we're gonna start off with happy eyes this is gonna be interesting because this is the powdery formula i don't know how this is gonna look in the crease and it's very shiny now charlotte tilbury's formula typically works really well in the crease even if it's a shimmer so that's why i'm trusting her on this but this has a lot of glitters in it <laughs> in this case i'm not too sure about how much we want to follow her directions because this shade carries glitter it's holding down well on the eyelid i do have a little bit of glitter particles so don't apply this type of formula all over the crease if you're not ready to have a little bit of glitter fall out like it looks pretty this shade is really gorgeous dispersed all over the lid, but it's a bit glittery. But that's okay. We're going to enhance the eyes now with this middle shade, which is a very creamy shade. I'm just using my fingers. Now, Charlotte Tilbury is known for giving you that glowy eye look, so that's why she puts shimmers in the crease and says it's okay, because that's what she's known for. Glowy eye, and my friends, this is glowy. <laughs> and then we're going to finish with the smoke shade, which is this kind of reddish shade. Ended up working better than I thought. Like, all three did pull together really pretty, did they not? Just with that touch of the matte in the crease. That's gorgeous. I actually really like this look. Interesting. I, I'm still not sure about the crease shade, but in the crease, it's a gorgeous look. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Like, I like this look better than this look. Let's add a little bit of the black. This is the Smoky Eyes R Forever palette, after all. And then because the greens are not getting their moment, we're just going to put this guy on the inner half, creating kind of a dual toned look. We'll have the darker shade out here. I like that. The khaki's kind of fun pop. And then let's add some black to pull the two sides together. I believe it's from that first shade we put on the eyes, but I have so much fallout and it's glittery fallout. It's sweeping right away, just something to keep in mind. And I did tap my brush off. So here are the two looks. I'm going to put on the rest of my face and then I will show you the final look. Okay, so before I go into my comparisons and final thoughts, I do just want to show you the completed look. So this one is really pretty. I love the pinky smoky eye. And then, of course, this warm look is really beautiful. I added the green to the bottom just because those needed some love too, but love the looks. Anyways, let's get into something very serious. Comparisons. Now, like I said before, I've collected quite a lot of Charlotte Tilbury palettes and a big talking point on this new release was that it's how similar it is to all of her other eyeshadows. So I'm going to compare a few of the close ones. So up top right here, we have the Eyes Are Forever. Right here at the bottom, I'm going to put last year's Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. And when I saw these, I really didn't think they were that similar. Of course, you know, in those neutral transitional shades, there are similarities, of course, but those are just necessary shades so I swatched them side by side so you could see the difference so on this arm I have the new forever smoky palette and on this side I have the bejeweled eyes hypnotized compared to the colors that I thought were the closest so I mean there's a good what do I have eight shades
shades that are similar and you can be the judge of how close you think that they are but I mean there's a number of shades that really are close we didn't have the green family really in that palette or the black right here but honestly they were a little bit closer than I thought they were going to be now I think one of the standout colors to this palette is the greens and that's definitely not in last year so that might be the selling point for you but as far as the warm tones if you're buying the new palette for the warm tones and you have last year's they're in last year's I would say for the most part now this one is the juicy one so this is the holiday palette from two years ago so the top is the new one bottom one is the starry eyes to hypnotize and I mean you have a green trio you have a warm base trio you have a black to create that smoke eye. You don't have a pinky trio really like this, but you could argue it's kind of in between these two. Anyways, these are the ones that I knew you guys really wanted to see compared, and it's very interesting. Honestly, taking a look, I almost feel like this uh, this palette should have been the Smoky Eyes palette. I don't know. But right here, I have the Smoky Eyes are forever, and right here are the close shades that I could find in the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize, and they're super close, you guys. Obviously, there's slight differences between the the colors and you can decide if it's going to be worth it for you. They're very, 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 very close honestly. I mean, you have the green tones, the warm tones, the reddish tones. The only true color that we're really missing from here is going to be a chocolate brown, but probably already have that in your collection, I'm going to guess. So these are very, very close. So I'm not doing side-by-side -side swatches of these. I mean, it's again a similar situation where there's going to be some transitional necessary shades that are going to be similar, but let's take a look at the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette, which is at the bottom. A few of those matte shades are going to be similar. I mean, there's definitely some dupes in here. However, there are just different color stories in the Smoky Eyes Are Forever, so I'm not gonna swatch those. Like, I definitely think you could have both of these and be okay. And then this one is arguably expired, right? At this point, this is from three years or so ago. These are similar, I'm not gonna lie. It just doesn't really have that green shade. This is called the Stars in Your Eyes, and the Stars in Your Eyes doesn't have a chocolate brown. It leans a little bit more purple, I would say. But look at these first two trios. Aren't they similar? And then and definitely these two trios are similar. These two shades, these are also close. It's those two most recent years that you're most likely to have, so I wanted to swatch those. And then as far as the green trio, which is the Power Eyes and the Smoky Eyes Forever, it did remind me a lot of the Green Light Squad from Charlotte Tilbury, so I did do a little bit of a comparison to show you. So this is going to be the Power Eyes, and this is the Green Light Squad. Similar vibes, you definitely could get a similar look with the three, but that's just to kind of show you how they differ. And then another trio that I wanted to compare was Happy Eyes right here, which is the warm trio. And I wanted to compare that to Copper Charge, which let me just show you really quickly what they look like side by side, just so that you can kind of see them side by side next to each other. Here is the Happy Eyes. Here is the Copper Charge. Pretty similar. These are very popular style kind of warm colors. So I think they're going to be easily dupable regardless. Okay, I'm going to clean all the swatches off my arms and I will be back to give you uh, my final thoughts. So a question I get asked a lot is, are these palettes worth it? And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you are interested in trying the Charlotte Tilbury formula, this is the route to go. As much as I love her quads, you're getting four shades with not anywhere near the amount of product that you are getting in the Instant Eyes palettes, and these are like 50 bucks. So if you want to try the Charlotte Tilbury formulas, you want to introduce yourself to her brand. These palettes are the way to go. They are the best value. Whether or not you choose to pick up this palette, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I just think as far as value, this is what you need to pick up. The formulas in here are consistent, and I'd argue, if not sometimes better than the formulas you find in the quads. I do find that the quads can be a little bit inconsistent in formula. So all around, like, I have not had a bad instant eye palette from Charlotte Tilbury, so it's a safe bet, and it's the best value if you're looking to get started. Now, as far as this palette in particular. It's a nice palette. It's in line with the rest of her other palettes. I like it just as much. It's just a matter of the color story and if this is for you because as a Charlotte Tilbury collector, as somebody who owns all of these colors from her already, these colors are already in my collection. This most definitely was not a need for me. But if you don't have these colors in your collection, you're not a Charlotte Tilbury collector, I don't think this is a necessary palette. It's not a color story that 
that stands out in her line. So I would say if you bought the holiday palette two years ago and yours isn't used and abused and you're still fine with using it, I definitely do not think you need this year's palette. If you have last year's palette and you're debating on this year's, think about that green. How bad do you want the green trio? If you don't want the green trio and you find yourself mostly reaching towards the warm colors in the palette, I don't think you need this year's, but it depends on how much you think you're going to use the green colors and the little bit more neutral shades. If you're just getting started with Charlotte Tilbury, you're interested in trying your formula, you're looking for a good, reliable, creamy, wearable formula, I definitely do recommend this. So this is, like I said, great quality from Charlotte Tilbury. Not disappointed by that factor at all. It's just a matter if you feel like you need these colors or not. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comments down below. Even if I can't get to you, hopefully somebody else will. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and for your continuous support. It does not go unnoticed. And thank you for liking this video. That's all I have for now. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.